Hi there everybody, it's Martin Twycross here with another video short bringing you practical down-to-earth teachings on mediumship and development without the fluff. So in today's video I want to talk to you about five reasons why sitting in the power may not be working for you. I want to talk about five commonly encountered issues and challenges that I see regularly with beginners new to sitting in the power. And by understanding those issues and understanding how to deal with them it should help you to get the most from sitting in the power. And if this sounds of interest, then do stay with me. Okay, so sitting in the power, five reasons why it may not be working for you. But before I get into that, let me do a quick backup and we'll just quickly cover what sitting in the power is. I do go into it in a lot more detail in my previous video on how to do sit in the power, but simply put, sitting in the power is an attunement meditation. It's a meditation where we learn to blend with the spirit world and hold that state of blending, that state of attunement with them. The version I teach has two parts. The first part, we sit in the power of our own soul. The second part, we move and blend and sit in the power of the spirit world. So why should you do sit in the power? I talked about that in my first video in this series and how to do it, I talked about it in great detail in the second video. Check them out in the links in the description below. So for those who may be interested, I have a number of products to help you with sitting in the power. I do have a guided meditation where I take you through my own version of sitting in the power. It's called Sitting in the Power, available as an MP3 and CD. I also have a, a teaching video, two hour teaching video called Mediumship Class 2, Building Power and Sitting for Spirit, where I drill deep into the practice of sitting in the power within that and give you a shortened version of it. If you'd like to get into sitting the power in a lot more detail, I have a course called Meditation and Sitting for Spirit. That comprises four two hour classes and it also includes two versions of sitting in the power as well as two other meditations as well. So links to those I will put in the comments in the description below. So five reasons why sitting in the power may not be working well. Five commonly encountered issues that I see with people who are new to sitting in the power. Issue number one, you may not be doing it right. A lot of people think they're doing sitting in the power, they think they're doing a meditation called sit in the power and they're doing it well and actually they're not. I, if you look around, you'll find a lot of versions of sitting in the power. A lot of them don't really meet the criteria that I discussed for my own version of sitting in the power. And people follow instructions like just relax and sit in the silence. Just relax and let spirit come to you. Just be passive. Just spend time in the silence. And often they have relaxation music, which is not great because it conditions us to relax, which is not truly what we're looking for with sitting in the power. So for me, sitting in the power, it is an active meditation in that we are making the effort to blend with the spirit world. We are making the effort to stay blended with the spirit world. It's not about relaxing or daydreaming. It's not about spirit coming to us. We've got to create that link and that blend with the spirit world through our mind, through our concentration, through our focus. So once we're blended, yes, I get that we can relax a little bit into it and we can lose track of time. But if you like, it's all about the discipline. It's about the focus. It's about effort. In many ways, it's a lot like the meditations from the Eastern traditions where we're learning to develop that focus and we're developing the discipline of attunement. And for me, sitting in the power is not an easy meditation to do if you've never sat before. It's not what I call a beginner's meditation. I call it more of an intermediate level meditation for those who've done a little bit of meditation already. Really, we would want you to do some other meditations first to learn some of the basics of meditation. Things like quieting the mind, the monkey mind, calming your energy, quieting the body's energy, relaxing the body and the mind, and also just learning to follow instructions and guidance. Guided meditations, guided visualizations are very good in getting you to follow instructions. So that's quite beneficial. If you come to sit in the power as your very first meditation, you may find it challenging because of those reasons. Really, if you've not learned to do any of those aspects of meditation, you may find it challenging. So that's the first reason not doing it right. I hope that helps because that is a key reason. Reason number two, people get bored with it. I know many people who tell me, oh, I can't do sitting in the power, I just get bored with it. I find when I'm doing it that nothing's happening. And for me, that tells me that they're not really at the right level in their meditation practice to be doing sitting in the power. 
So in the UK, we have a system of training people to do mediumship in churches, where first of all, we start them in the awareness circle. In the awareness circle, we give them guided meditations, we give them visualizations, we take them on a little journey, we get them to use the psychic senses, we get them to have new experiences. Because when we're a beginner, we are in often what I call exploration mode. We like to explore, we want to get new experiences. Everything's exciting to us when we first start out on this journey. When you're doing sitting in the power, you're not getting those new experiences. When you're doing sitting in the power, it can be very samey. And I do get why some people initially may find it boring. So if you're at the stage where you need to explore, go off. Do guided meditations and visualizations. Let your imagination run riot. Let your psychic senses have new experiences. But once you've worked through that phase, then come to sitting in the power. Once you've made the commitment to move forward in your development, move forward in your mediumship, then is the time to approach sitting in the power. So as I said in, the, in number one, this is not an absolute beginner's meditation. It's really what I call an intermediate meditation. So reason number three, people don't follow instructions. Many times when I teach a group to do sitting in the power, people will come back and say, oh, I didn't follow it, I just did my own thing. I, I shut my eyes and I just went off somewhere. And instantly that tells me that there's a lack of discipline. They didn't follow the instructions. They didn't listen to the guidance given. And in many ways there may be a resistance within them to doing it, or it may just be a bad habit they've got into. It's a lack of discipline, just go and do your own thing. If you do that, you won't gain benefit from it. Other people tell me, well, I started all right, but then I heard some noises in the room, or there was a distraction, or I started thinking about other things and I lost it. And again, that tells me you've not disciplined the mind enough. That tells me you've not learned to manage the distractions of the room or the distractions of your thoughts. So it's all about managing the monkey mind. It's all about learning to, to move inwards and move away from any external distractions. But key thing of all is the discipline. If you lose the blend, if you lose the attunement, you get straight back into it, you rebuild it. We make that achievement with the spirit world, if it drops, if we lose it for any reason, we get back and we rebuild it. And that's good training for mediumship because that's exactly what we've got to do when we're working as a medium. When we drop the link, we get straight back into it. So that's reason number three, that they don't follow instructions. Reason number four is people tell me that they just drift off or worst of all, they fall asleep. Well, I started doing it and I just drifted off and I fell asleep. And that generally tells me that they're trying to sit at the wrong time of day. They're not sitting when they're at their most alert. They're not sitting when they're at a point when they are sharp. We want you to be sitting when you are at your most alert. So don't do it when you're tired or sleepy. Don't do it before bedtime. And when you do do it, sit in an upright chair, never do it lying down. I talked about this in my video on how to do it, but make sure you're in an upright chair, make sure that uh, you've got full attention, full concentration. It needs that focus, it needs that discipline. If you find that at times you drift, then try and do it for shorter periods to begin with until you've learned that discipline of mind, until you've learned to hold it, until you learn to stay with it. So that's issue number four, drifting off or falling asleep, don't do it. Issue number five, not sitting often enough. To get benefit from sitting in the power, you've got to sit regularly. You, you need to sit often, we recommend daily, or sitting on most days, sitting ideally several times per week. But if you only sit once a month, or you only sit whenever you feel like it, once every few months, you're gonna get very little benefit from it whatsoever. The benefit comes from doing it regularly, from doing it often. And people often tell me, oh, I just don't have time to do it. I'm really busy. I've got so much in my life. I've got so many commitments. I just don't have time to do it. And really that's just an excuse. They're telling me in my life it's not a priority. But they're telling me it's a priority to, to check their phone so many times a day. It's a priority to clean their teeth. It's a priority to watch TV shows. But what you're saying is, is that sitting for spirit, meditation, is not a priority in your life. So we make so much time for the other things in our life, we need to make time to sit for spirit. If we're serious about working for spirit, if we're serious about developing mediumship, we should make the time. And most people should easily be able to squeeze it in a couple of times a week at a minimum. So make the time for it, 
make sure that you do it often enough and then you will see the benefits from it. So I do hope that you found what I've said helpful. I hope that that supports you in your practice of sitting in the power and that it will help you to manage some of the common issues we encounter when we first come to doing sitting in the power. If you've enjoyed it, do check out the other videos in this series as well. Again, there's links in the description and the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you got lots from it. If you have, hit the like button and do leave me a comment. If you like my teaching, do subscribe to the channel and do check out my other videos. I usually put up two or three per month. If you want to support the channel, then do check out my courses, products and study program, all available from my website and my store. You can also make a donation to support the channel. Again, link in the description below. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you got lots from it. I look forward to seeing you all again in the next one.